Um, the dust has settled, I guess, on the the whole week and everything that happened. Mm. Now, at this remove, what do you think of the whole thing? Well, reading the papers today, it, it, I don't think it's actually finished, Jerry, because Kuman is making some sort of, uh, well, certain comments about that the, the player or the Irish medical people objected to uh, the kind of plan the other day. I yeah. can't believe that. Well, it, well I, I've spoken to people who are close to the situation and they say that's just a complete fabrication and yeah. no idea where he got it from. Yeah, well, I happen to know Alan Bourne who, for, on a personal level, from the time he was a kid, who was the, the doctor, well-respected doctor of the Irish team, team and the medical staff, head in the medical staff. And I haven't spoken to him, but I I, I think it would be I've, and unbelievable that if he didn't want, didn't pass McCarthy fit to play, uh, and in fact, as we know, he didn't play because he said he felt the thing and then Martin O'Neill pulled him out. Yeah. So you can only go on what the player said up to that particular moment where he felt OK and he felt OK to play. Uh, I think it's a very serious charge for Cooman to make that the Irish medical staff didn't want him to play and Martin O'Neill overruled that. Yeah. I would find that unbelievable and I don't think Alan Bourne, uh, Dr Alan Bourne, would really subscribe to that yeah. at all. Like I can't see any international manager either having a medical staff and then going, oh, by the way, I respect your opinion, but not enough to listen to it. No. And and the fact was that, you know, McCarthy didn't play in the match. That It was Martin O'Neill's decision when he said he wasn't feeling good to say, well, you're not playing. Yeah. Anyway, so, I mean, this is this is an ongoing thing. Anyway, uh, Ger, I, I mean, my take on it generally is that the, the managers in England, a lot of them, haven't come to terms with the fact that when a player is picked for the international team, that they have priority over the situation from then on. Yeah. Like the managers in England in my day actually didn't re- had the power not to release players at all for the international matches. Wow. They could say, no, they're not going. Uh, I mean, I played in a match with, when I was at Manchester United years and years ago, uh, I've competed a match, a World Cup match, and uh, it, Matt Busby said, well, you can have Two, there was three of the players. It was Tony Dunn, uh, Noel Cantor, and myself, which was a long time ago. You can have two of the players, but you can't have three of the players. They, they, in other words, they could dictate who yeah. they could release. And I think a lot of the managers, even though it's been gone for a few years now, that the international team have priority over the release of players. In fact, the clubs have no say on it, haven't come to terms with that. And I think Kuman is in that position. I, I would understand if it was Mourinho or Wenger or somebody who hadn't played international football and like had, had a really important international career but Cooman surely understands what this means to McCarthy to go and play in these big games. Yeah, I, but I don't even come to terms with it, Jay. You, you see, what they manage to say, we pay the wages and we do this and we do that, which, which is true. But the fact that the, the, uh, the, the UEFA or FIFA said that, you know, those players have to turn up now and be examined by the doctors to see if they're fit or not. Because what the clubs were doing before is he's not fit and he can't travel. Mm. So what they're saying, well, OK, send him over and we make a decision on it. And I just don't think the, 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 the terms, or, sorry, the club managers have come to terms with that. Because, you see, if you look at it from a club manager's point of view, in international, there's no gain in it for them. Yeah. The player either comes back fit and tired or he comes back injured. Mm. Uh, in the case of uh, 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 Seamus Coleman, for example, which is a tragic case from Everton's point of view, he's gone on international duty and he's broken his leg, he won't be able to play for probably 12 months. Mm. So uh, there's no gain in it from the club's point of view. And they haven't come to terms. I mean, you go back over the years, when Ferguson, example, when, when Roy Keane, yeah. uh, in the match, remember we won 2-0, it was Iran. We yeah, were playing, the Iran away game, yeah. And and, 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 and Roy Keane said, well, we're winning 2-0, or Ferguson winning 2 so we, we should be able to get through. Who knew? But Ferguson was part of the negotiations where he could play in the first match, but wouldn't play in the second match when yeah. Mick McCarthy was the manager. Like, Mick McCarthy could have said it, I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Ferguson, this has nothing to do with you whatsoever. So it's very difficult for the managers to come to terms with the fact that they don't have that power anymore. Yeah. And it's an ongoing thing with Everton as we know. We've had the McCarthy situation why do, why do for you a think, while. 
why do you think Cumin did this then today? Like, what what's the benefit from him of making a fairly ridiculous accusation against O'Neill? It's going to piss off O'Neill, and it's probably going to make McCarthy feel very uncomfortable. Does it make McCarthy think twice the next time about playing for Ireland? Is that well, I, I, you, you wouldn't know what's in his head, Jar. But 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 he's he has no control over the situation, and actually at the moment it doesn't make sense. Uh, I mean, this is an ongoing feud, as yeah. we, we know, because the last time McCarthy played, and he played in the two matches, he said he, he was overloaded uh, in the two international matches uh, for playing for Ireland, but then he played him on the Saturday. Mm. Like, if he was overloaded, why would you play him on the Saturday? So this is an ongoing situation, which what I, I believe is that Koeman, is, as, as a manager, hasn't come, to, come really come to terms with the fact that international teams have priority over the players. And it, there's there's been a row going on. Yeah. So it's like he's just well, keeping the row going. Then That's, I think so. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense what he said. I mean, the fact is that uh, from what I can gather, Martin uh, O'Neill made a decision the other day that he wasn't going to play, despite the fact he was in the warm up and came yeah. back and said, "I'm feeling this." And he said, "Okay, you're not playing." He wasn't insisting on the player playing. And up to that particular time, what it reads to me is that McCarthy felt okay, which can happen in football. Yeah, you can feel okay, and then you, you strain it. Or in yourself in the warm up. Yeah, it's not the first time players have, have, have come off in the warm up. And and to be fair to McCarthy, he actually said, "I'm feeling this again." Mm. A lot of players wouldn't have said anything. No, they would have disguised the it, and then the, you've got and to make a have to come off. Yeah. So the best the best solution was for Martin O'Neill to say, uh, "No, well, you've, you said you're not fit, so therefore we're not going to play it." What's what's what, what I find peculiar peculiar today is that it's it's actually, but from Kuman, it's an attack on. The Irish medical situation, that the Irish medical situation wanted them to not play. to play. Yeah, you know, like it, it just it, it doesn't it doesn't add up. No, it, and, it's, and it's really inconsistent. It's certainly not and good for from from uh, uh, you know Dr. Alan Burns' uh, position that he's he's gone against the wishes to do so. Yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense. And just to clarify again, as far as uh, as far as I know from that situation, that none of that actually happened. So Cumin has just invented this whole notion that the Irish medical staff said, oh, he can't play. Martin O'Neill ignores that. And then it, there's this kind of yeah, incident in the warm-up. That that didn't happen, but that's what Cumin is saying happened. Uh, yeah. And everybody's very surprised by that. Yeah, but what, what he's trying to say is to bring something between Martin O'Neill and the, and the Irish medical uh, uh, setup, which just like, does, does, doesn't no. make sense. I mean, the fact is, that yeah, McCarthy didn't play in the match. You know, Martin O'Neill didn't say, "No, I want you to play. I want yeah. you. To, never mind that. Like, I know you feel it, but I want you to play." As some managers <laughs> have done in the past, but he didn't say that. He said, "No, you're feeling it? okay. You're off." Yeah, it kind of undermines Cumin's credibility a little bit. But I, I guess it's football, so no one cares. Like it, you know, in, in England, the Premier League, if he wins the game against Liverpool at the weekend. This is all forgotten about. But certainly, the next time I hear him talking about stuff, I'm going to be like, "Well, I just don't know if I trust you, Kuman." But again, yeah, I think it, I think it's it's, it's it's a lot of managers not the only one who haven't really come to terms with the fact that the international team has priority over club football. And if Martin O'Neill wants wants McCarthy, which he has done in the past for the two months, that's his job. Yeah, that's yeah. his job. And 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 uh, you know the, the 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 fact is that you know when it was in the manager's favour. They abused the situation by, by now he's injured. He's, that's that's what brought around the the the, the circumstances that the, what's happened with FIFA, FIFA or whatever said. Yeah, the player has to turn up and he has to be Assessed examined by the medical, by the staff, medical yeah. staff, not the club staff. Yeah, that's a fact. And, and it's because of managers like Cumin clearly. 